Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys wherever you are in this beautiful world and everyone watching this video Welcome to the Bitcoin family YouTube channel and yes for the newcomers my name is Didi The noise is that boat over there guys uh, Welcome to this beautiful beach again here in Phuket in the beautiful early morning today doing my walk and talk Talking about amazing Bitcoin charts talking about the beautiful trading tip talking about the news how could the war in Israel uh, have influence on the Bitcoin price or not? And of course, giving an answer to one of the questions that was asked yesterday down below the video. Let's quickly jump into the charts first because I know you want to see the charts first. If you don't want to see the chart first, leave down below a comment already now and give it already a thumbs up because I should already be thumbed up for this beautiful start on this beautiful beach. The first chart guys shows you exactly what I told you uh, we found resistance at that red 200 day moving average line and I told you we could even go down and retest that green line we are already coming down a little bit I did open a long yesterday because it could be a fake out and then I want to take that long beautifully so that I, I shared it with my VIPs but there's always a, a very tight stop loss so if it will stop out I have a small loss and if it reverses on the four hour chart bam okay I might take a beautiful profit over there guys so yes there is an expectation it could go to that green line that green dotted line coming up slowly probably then around 26 800 900 will, will be tested and where you can put some buy orders short term thinking guys I like to zoom out so let's quickly jump into another chart yes you might think what is this this is not a chart no this is not a chart guys this is sequence this is the group i uh, have a trading bot with the bitcoin family so yes you can use a trading bot make an average around three percent per month uh, if you calculate over the length of 12 months guys we can see this chart is showing us that there is not much volatility at the moment the volatility is really low but even with that low volatility guys with this bot we made 18.60 four percent profit in the last 243 days so that is just having your capital your bitcoins that are doing nothing at the moment connected through an api with this bot making you 18 percent profit in the last 240 days so yes it's a little bit below the average we should reach but again it was a less volatile period ever even in that period i think it was doing a pretty damn good job for me making 20 percent uh, in those 250 days guys this could be all the way up to 30 percent if we calculate a full year at the end of that period now we can see exactly which months did really good and which months didn't do that good and of course there will be months with one percent and there will be months with seven percent but in the end it will average out to three percent a month guys now on this chart you can see the difference if you would have used the bot between hodling between the 1.0 leverage bot and the 1.5 leverage bot in the last bull run that would be a huge difference if you would have just huddled you would have ended up at 52,544 if you would have used the 1.0 leverage bot which has a low possibility of liquidations because we are only using a leverage of one you would have ended 48 percent up higher and if you would have used the 1.5 leverage bot you would have ended 78 percent higher than just by huddling so that's a very beautiful result of this bot guys here you can see uh, in that year what kind of trades would have been done and you can see that it would have not been liquidated in any of those trades guys beautiful charts if you want more information uh, click the link down below or join the bitcoin family telegram group for free there we also share a lot of information about the bot um, yes you can join the bot for free there is no cost at all uh, you will only share a small part of your profits now next chart this chart is showing the difference between the bitcoin and the ethereum wills as we can see we are creating more bitcoin wills slightly increasing if we look at the ethereum wills they have all been dumping their ethereum it's already before the bull run in 2021 the ethereum wills started to dump their ethereum this is very strange the bitcoin wills are just accumulating we get more and more bitcoin wills and less and less ethereum wills i don't know exactly what is the reason for this because i don't look at ethereum too much but if you do know the reason for this and then let me know down below in the comment why are the ethereum whales dumping ethereum so hard let me know down below and i'm not telling you guys to go full retard on this bot i'm telling you guys you should diversify your portfolio and a small part of the portfolio could be in the bot 
and the bot will be making you 3% a month, which means you're earning money while you walk the beach, while you visit your son's football match, while you have beautiful sex with your wife. Essentially, you're being paid to do all of your passions. So how more beautiful can I make it for you? The bot has a low liquidation possibility because it's only using a leverage of one. To be honest, we have three bots. We have a spot dot, which doesn't use leverage at all. We have a 1.0 leverage bot, which uses the leverage of one. And we have a 1.5 leverage bot, which uses the leverage of 1.5. To make it clear, for example, at the moment I am in a trade with a 1.5 leverage bot. And for that trade to be liquidated, Bitcoin needs to drop all the way to $1,200, $1,300, something in that area which in my opinion will never happen. So that's why I say it's a very low risk liquidation bot, but it will make you a way more return on investment than just hodling. That's why I diversify my portfolio. A huge part is hodl, a small part is trading, and a small part is in this bot. And that bot makes me 3% on average a month if you calculate it during 12 month periods. I hope you really enjoyed the charts guys. Yes, again and again and again, I will keep repeating it. It's like a mantra, zoom out in Bitcoin. Look at the bigger picture. We are about to go into a massive bull run again. You should be buying Bitcoin to be joining that bull run. If you don't buy, you won't experience the joy of the bull run. It's simple as that. There can be a shitload of things happening in the world of which we talk about a little bit later in the video but in my opinion scarce assets like gold or like for example bitcoin it is never bad in these situations to add store of values like gold or bitcoin to your portfolio it's never a bad time to buy bitcoin guys let's jump into the trading tip I am slowly running out of trading tips guys, but the trading tip today is about education. You should invest in educating yourself about trading. Wow, this one is really nice. I'm gonna sit this out and wait one second. Look, the big boat coming by there. Five boat. You need more noise than the Formula One Red Bull buy big car of Max Verstappen. You hear it going to move up a little bit because the waves are pretty big and the noise is a little bit disturbing now so I'm going to move here and walk you can still see the beach and the sea guys don't worry don't worry don't worry the trading tip for today guys is a very simple trading tip you should invest in education educate yourself about the tools about indicators about patterns about charts about candles about all of that stuff you should be educating yourself before you start to trade and if you need to invest a little bit to be educated, to buy a course or to follow somebody else that has beautiful signals or whatever, then do do that. Education is never bad. It's the most powerful tool to change the world. I think Nelson Mandela said that. So also for trading, I think education is the most powerful tool to become a better trader. So always educate yourself. And yes, of course, we welcome you to join the Bitcoin family and get free education over there. And we also have a VIP membership and I will talk about that soon a little bit more because we are restructuring all of that. So you will be able to become a VIP in a very cool way, guys. Now, let's jump into the next tip, the travel tip. The travel tip for today, guys, is a really cool one. Baby wipes are not only for babies always have a package of baby wipes with you they are beautiful to clean your face after a warm day in thailand they are beautiful in the airplane if you made some mess they are beautiful to clean whatever the fuck you need to clean because baby wipes they clean everything you need to clean so we we don't have babies anymore we are teddy is a little baby but we still have baby wipes with us on every trip they're always somewhere central in the living room so everyone is still using baby wipes baby wipes are not only for babies that was a travel tip for the day make sure you are always packed with a pack of baby wipes which brings me to the news of today guys we all know there is a war ongoing at the moment in israel uh, with the hamas and now binance took a beautiful step in that they started to freeze the wallets that are tied to Hamas groups. Yes, Binance is doing a terrific job there because of course, I think terrorist groups should not be able to use crypto to finance that war. But if it comes to that war, guys, 
I don't want to spend too much time to it because there is so many negativity around that issue and I have a complete different opinion about this issue that probably by talking only about it I will hurt a lot of people's feelings. So the only thing that I want to share with you about this is that I don't believe this war is like happening out of nothing. I think it's a complete planned disaster. Israel has the best of the best of the best of the best security and I've seen now Hamas warriors fly in with these how do you call them even these wind air propelled airplanes so you have the top of the line security and then the Hamas is able to fly in with these propeller planes something else is going on now guys always when there is a huge economical crisis a war probably is needed and that is again what we see now there was a shitload of warning sent out to Israel that a huge attack of Hamas was coming nobody did anything it feels like those attacks in the old days the 9-11 and everything where there was a lot of warning but nobody did anything for me it feels like this war was able to start to be able to create a bigger war that's my honest opinion I feel very sad for everything that's happening I feel very sad for all the people dying I feel very sad for everything and all the worlds all over the world because I think that we could easily fix everything with love and not with war but if I look back in the last couple of decades in the cause and the last couple of years I can't fully say I believe this is an authentic war. I believe that this war, just like the war in Ukraine, is being created, planned. I don't know how to explain it without hurting people's feelings out there, but I have never seen a country being invaded that easily when it has been able to protect itself for decades because it has the top of the bill security. And now these air propelled airplanes fly in. Sorry, it just doesn't add up to me. The whole war doesn't add up to me. The whole timing doesn't add up to me. It feels to me like somebody wants there to be a war. So they can step in again, take control and make some more money. That is how it feels to me. And I'm not gonna spend any more attention to it. The only thing I wanna add to it is that there is a Web3 uh, group that now started to raise capital and to help all the Israeli people over there guys there is a link down below this video guys that will lead to the website crypto 8 israel if you want to support them over there that is possible just check the website and do your own research and decide for yourself uh, what you think about this war i just gave my opinion i know a lot of people will hate that opinion but for me it's the only truth um, this war is not a war that is happening for nothing this war is planned this war is organized and i just can't get my head around how easily they were able to invade Israel, which is the most secure country out there in the last decades. So that was the news for today, guys. Um, sad news, sorry. And all my heart goes to all those poor people there that lost a lot of friends, family. Uh, but let's jump into the next part. Some more positive stuff. You know, that beautiful quote, when people are crazy enough to think they are able to change the world they will change the world I really believe in this I really believe that you need to be crazy enough to think you can change the world even if it is making beautiful freedom YouTube videos or whatever the fuck you want to make just do it don't doubt if you're crazy enough to think you can change the world you will be able to change the world and even if it's a little, little tiny bit maybe that is exactly the example that other people need maybe you should start to lead by example so your children will follow and maybe their friends will follow and way more people will follow just be crazy enough to think that you can change the world and collectively we will be able to change the world that was the inspirational quote for today which brings me already to the last part of the video answering a question of one of the followers guys there was a question down below yesterday's video that was asking me uh, Didi, why do you always choose Thailand and why not Bali or any other place in Indonesia because we have Indonesian roots? 
Now, it has to do with two things. First thing is that Indonesia had the longest um, quarantine, vaccinations and face mark rules. So we couldn't go there because we are not vaccinated as a family. So we were not able to go to Indonesia. The second thing is guys that um, we have this little dog and this little dog is allowed into for example Jakarta but it will take me a shitload of paperwork but a dog is not allowed to go into Bali which I would prefer to visit with my kids. So we have been to Indonesia many times and we love Indonesia, we love the people, we love the food, I love my roots but as long that we need to have all these kinds of things like vaccinations or like wear a face mask or not being able to take a dog there we can't go there and i will probably go there from here from phuket and visit it for a weekend or a midweek and if we find a babysitter for the dog teddy and we will visit it also if you compare bali to for example phuket over here you know bali has a beautiful culture still has a beautiful culture um, it's getting less and less to be very honest it's not anymore that hinduistic culture that it was like years ago um, but the beaches in Bali, I really don't like them. It's nice for surfing, but they are way not as beautiful as the beaches here in Phuket. And I'm a really beach lover. I love to be on the beach. So for me to go to a country and spend there many, many, many months, I need to have a beautiful beach. Kuta Beach is kind of nice, but there are so many surfers, you never can go into the sea. And then you have other beaches like Sanur or Lovina in the north, yeah, which are dark beaches. So. To enjoy the beach in Bali, I think you need to go to Nusa Lembogan, Nusa Senigan, or next to Lombok, the Gili Islands. They have amazing beaches, but those islands don't have the quality that, for example, Phuket has for my family. My kids are growing up and getting older, and they need some other entertainment um, than the local Bob Marley reggae bars, you know? So that is why we always choose Phuket, and we don't choose uh, Bali at the moment. So first, all the health shit, and second, um, we won't be able to travel with our dog there because they don't allow dogs in Bali yet. Maybe they will change soon in the future, guys. Now, I think that was everything for today, guys. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. If you did enjoy today's video, then give the video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and again, at the end of the video, you're probably distracted by that beautiful woman that was walking there, but do not forget to give this video a thumbs up. And guys, if you want to trade, use the links down below and sign up to buy them because i have amazing bonuses there for you i've been now warming you up already for weeks that something special is to come and today at the end of the day i will make an extra video where i will tell you what that special thing is thanks for watching I'll see you tomorrow again or later today Bam.